What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Modo WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use Spotify Music, tracks, albums, artist pages or even podcasts to embed into WordPress or any other HTML website easily. First of all, we're gonna move to the Spotify website and we're gonna need to log in to our Spotify account to be using it. Secondly, we need to find the track that we want to embed. I'm gonna be starting with this amazing podcast, This American Life, the podcast discovery show. We're gonna hover over the episode and we're gonna click on the three dots that appears and we're gonna click on copy the episode link. As you can see here in the Spotify for Developers page, there's a lot of methods and a lot of recommendations to embed the Spotify content into the sites. First of all, we're going to be embedding using the WordPress new editor, the Gutenberg. We're going to move to WordPress dashboard posts at new, but you can do that in pages or any other post type that you want. We're going to apply a page title name. and we're gonna click on the plus button at the top. We're gonna click on embed and just post the code that we get on Open Spotify platform. Automatically, the WordPress already embed the content. Simple, fast and easy. Let's preview. And here we have the Spotify content embed in WordPress. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to embed SoundCloud content in WordPress. The process is pretty much the same, but there's there are some tricks. Now, let me click on these three dots to open the configuration, edit as HTML so I can get access to the code, and I'm gonna delete it. Now we're going to be embedding the Spotify content using another method, the code. Let's imagine that you are using some HTML template and not WordPress, so you do not have the Gutenberg editor, or you do want to add this playlist or this track from Spotify into a WordPress read get, for example. There are some amazing tutorials on the Spotify developers page that you should take a moment to read, but let's click on the first option. Here, adding a widget, standard HTML page, play button. First of all, we need to post the link of the, of the album or of the artist or of the track. For example here, As you can see, an advantage is the fact that you have the sizing selector. Let me search for another artist, for example, David Guetta, and select some album, some playlist, for example. Here, this is David Guetta. We're gonna hover over this playlist, click with the right button of your mouse, and copy the playlist. Now we're gonna post there, you can change the sizes in the case that you want, or change the style, and in the third step, you can copy the frame code and just post into your WordPress. WordPress, we want to convert this as HTML. Let's preview. And here we have an amazing Spotify, open Spotify playlist from this playlist from this artist. 
directly on our WordPress post. Now we're gonna be adding this into our amazing WordPress music WordPress theme. As you can see, we do have a blog on our music WordPress theme with widget, but let's imagine that you want to add the Spotify widget showing a playlist in this field. Let me go to WordPress dashboard widget in the sidebar location. We can we need to find the custom HTML widget. Here we're gonna click, drag this and drop into the location that we want. For example, here in the sidebar, the title gonna be listen for free. And we're just gonna post the code that we get on the Spotify developer page. Let's update the page. And here we have our playlist embed into our WordPress sidebar location. Now I just gonna apply some space to follow the design, to separate the social icons in the end, and we are good to go. You can do the same for episodes, playlists, albums, or podcasts using Spotify. In addition, if you click into the left sidebar called Generate, you can find Follow button and Play button. If you click in the Play button, you're gonna find these options like we, here, we do here, but if you click on the Follow button, you can create or generate a button for artist following on Spotify. You can change the sizes in the case that you want. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later. All the best!